Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you how to collect pepper seeds. I'm going to go over maybe five or six varieties. We'll tour the garden. I'll show you how to pick them, you know, for best seed collection and also how to take the seeds out. But real quick, I want to start with Facing Heaven peppers. These are thin-walled peppers. So what I'd like to do is I pull out the whole plant, stick it to the side of my house, and just let these dry. It takes about uh, three weeks, four weeks. The peppers will be really dry. I just crush them. I collect the seeds. It works really well for thin-walled peppers, especially for the Facing Heaven peppers. We're going to go over uh, Shishito peppers, Jalapenos, Carolina Reapers, Scorpion, and ghost peppers. Just wanted to cut in real quick. These are all the seeds that I got from the poblanos that were in a bowl. That's a little bit too deep, so I'm going to spread these out on the dish to let them dry. But what I wanted to show you was if the seeds look brown like this right here, don't save those. You want them to look like this. Let them dry. As they dry, if they brown and shrivel up, you get rid of them. But this is a perfect way to save seeds. These are my super hot peppers that I'm going to be saving. Ghost peppers right there, uh, scorpion peppers, and Carolina reapers all the way over there on the left. You want them to get to their final color. They can be, you know, starting to turn brown a little bit. The whole key for saving these is one, I would save the seeds outside because the fumes of the pepper do get into your nose and definitely, definitely wear rubber gloves. I'm also going to be saving poblano seeds. You want them to get to a nice, deep, dark green color. They can even turn red or start getting some color to them. They typically mature when they're really a nice dark green. They've been on a vine or on a plant for a while. I save these by simply actually just cutting the tops off, pull out a core of seeds, and then I actually roast the poblanos in an oven under a broiler, and I save them for the winter. I also save my jalapeno peppers. I like to wait till they have some corking on there. It looks like that. That's the green. Once it has corking, the seeds are really mature. You can also wait for them to turn red. I have different varieties of jalapenos in here. These are thick-walled peppers like the poblanos, so I'm just going to cut them in half, save the seeds. Mixed varieties again, and I just put them all in one batch, and whatever grows, grows. Jalapenos are really easy to save. A couple of important tips. Super hots, I recommend doing this outside. If you do this inside, pretty soon you'll be coughing, your eyes will be burning. Definitely wear gloves. Even after wearing gloves, wash your hands well. Be careful you don't touch your eyes, your nose, your lips, any part of your face. And if you have to use the bathroom, be extremely careful. So, scorpions. They're fairly thin-walled, and I like to use wax paper. You can use anything. If you're using wax paper, something that comes off the roll, scrumble it up this way it doesn't um, roll up when you're trying to use it. You don't want to, you could pull on this, it's easy to, to open, but just cut the top off and you are just taking the seeds out and dropping them down. Get out as many as you want. It's very, very soft. Look for ones you like, like I don't like that one, so I'm going to grab another one. And that popped too. That's why you just want to be careful this doesn't splash up into your eyes. And this is what I would do for, oh, I can even feel it getting to my nose now. If you open these up and for some reason they're browned or shriveled up, don't use them. But these are all really healthy looking. Next thing you want to do, and I'm going to do all of these, get the seeds off. These are nice and healthy looking. And we're just going to let these dry five to seven days. Make sure you don't have any seeds on your fingers, any seeds that splash away or fall off the paper, just get rid of them. So the reapers, same process. Just cut the top. You don't want any juice, liquid to splash into your eye. You could use these if you're into making hot sauce. You can still use these if you pick them before they start to turn. This one is starting to rot a little bit, but it's perfectly fine. Pepper seeds look good. You're looking for that creamy, kind of yellow, tan color. If they're brown or shriveled, don't use them. And you'll know. And these look like really healthy peppers. I'm going to clean off my hands. Get rid of that. 
Those are the reapers. Ghost peppers, not much different. We'll just grab one real quick. Make sure again there's no seeds. And you're just tearing through it. The seeds are nice and brown. That's the color that you want. They look really good. Well, I shouldn't say brown, just a very light tan. If they're brown or black, that's no good. And this is going to take some time to do it. But you can also, again, if you are interested in selling plants, you can collect seeds and sell some seeds at your plant sale too. Jalapenos, they're a little bit thicker. So, I mean, you could take the knife, cut the top. You don't want to cut into the seeds, but just slice it. And there are tons of jalapeno seeds in there. Always move the seeds you collected away because you saw how those seeds splashed out. There we go. That's the jalapenos. I would go through that. Shishitos aren't that hot. You could do these indoors, certainly. But you get the idea. We're going to do the poblanos inside because the process is a little bit different. Now, I forgot to clean my hands. So I'm tossing that pepper, tossing these seeds, because I don't know if I had some jalapeno seeds on there or not. So I'm just going to start again and grab one. Cut the top. And that's plenty of shishito seeds. It's not windy today. You don't want to be out here on a windy day or your papers, your paper towel, your wax paper could blow away. You could put these onto a plate if it's windy out. You know, use whatever you want. But I like to be able to write the name in here, shishito, etc. I know what I have. And then you're just going to let these dry five to seven days, put them in an airtight container, and you're good to go. All right, let's do the poblanos. For the poblanos, I'm going to actually broil these for about 15 minutes, char them a little bit, and then I'm going to freeze them. You're just going to cut around the top and you pull them out. All the pepper seeds are usually there. I don't mind using my hands for poblanos. And I would go through, cut a bunch of these, just like that. You want, oh, missed that one. You want the seeds to look Kind of creamy white tan, you get the idea. Let's see if I get this in focus. Something like that, they're absolutely beautiful. And then after I get a bowl, these all look good too. Now for the poblanos, I might let them dry just like this for a couple of days and then I just come in and push off the seeds. They do pop everywhere, so you wanna make sure you don't have other seeds around laying on plates or anything like that. And this is just three poblanos. But you can see how many seeds you get pretty quickly. That's a lot of seeds. That's plenty. You don't have to spend any more money on here. And again, if you're going to collect seeds, you're doing a plant yard sale, you could sell some of these. Just put them in an envelope, label them. People like buying seeds that are grown in the ground locally for a year. They feel sometimes like these seeds are better because they're used to the conditions of the area. Not sure if that's true or not, but you have seeds you can sell that you've grown in your particular garden. Great way to make some money. So this is all I do to collect seeds. Again, five to seven days, just sit in the bowl, sit on a plate, let them dry, put them into a Ziploc bag and you are good to go. You don't need to refrigerate them, just keep them indoors. And you have plenty of seeds to trade, to sell, to keep. You don't have to spend any more money. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And seed saving is really easy. You just want the peppers to mature, get beautiful seeds that look something like this. Thanks for watching.